Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Today I want to focus on cloud-based navigation. Uh, this is not something entirely new for us. We definitely have had videos about this in the past, especially one of the major updates to iDrive 7. I think it was the update from July 2020 that brought that over. Um, but anyways, the point is cloud-based navigation is, is pretty much here to stay. And with the debut of the all-new iDrive 8 operating system and the all-new iX and i4, and we have a lot of new vehicles coming out for you guys in the fall, all are going to be featuring iDrive 8. So uh, you can certainly watch the iDrive 8 um, video series I have, especially on navigation, to kind of see exactly how that works in iDrive 8. However, it's still here in iDrive 7, and there's a lot of customers out there on the road with iDrive 7, with this technology. Most of them know how to use this, and they're taking advantage of uh, how easy it is uh, to have this uh, great experience in the vehicle as they are navigating uh, with iDrive 7. However, there still are a, far, a fair amount of people out there who are still having difficulty with it and they think that it's a little bit more complicated than it actually is. So I just wanted to take a step back and make sure that everybody is on the same page uh, with this navigation software so um, everybody can enjoy it um, at the same time here because uh, there's really no uh, reason uh, not to. The first thing I want to do is move over to the steering wheel. Just take a look a little bit down here. See in the corner right there, the microphone button? Pressing that once will activate your intelligent personal assistant. And that by far is the easiest way of doing anything in our cars today. So whether you're in a 2022 X5 like we are today, or you're in a 2023 iX M60, it really doesn't matter using the intelligent personal assistant to you know, raise, lower the windows, change to sport mode, you know, turn the heated seats on, the ventilated seats, start the massage function, shut the massage function off. Uh, it literally is limitless. There's so much you can do uh, with the system today. So I hope everybody is taking full advantage of their intelligent personal assistant in the car uh, because it is very smart and can do quite a few things. But assuming you don't want to interact with the vehicle by voice and you want to do it by touch, I'm going to show you exactly how to get the most out of your cloud-based navigation uh, today. So what I did was I launched navigation and there are three options to the left side when you first do that. It is um, where to, my destinations, and receive destinations. So the where to gets us to this menu here which I'm going to go to in a minute. And because my finger got close to the screen, it went from that kind of rotary dial uh, into a typical touchpad here. So that's what we're gonna be using soon. Um, but back to the initial menu, menu that was uh, where to is where we are now. If you went into uh, my destinations, that would be your previous destinations, places you've already been. And then uh, my received destinations is going to be everything from your my bmw app so if you launch the app you go to the map section you can search pretty much any place you want to go and send that to the vehicle when you send it to the vehicle it's going to end up in the received destinations um, menu there really easy uh, that's kind of the easiest way of navigating is on the go you kind of use your app send it to the car uh, you don't have to sit here. You don't have to do what we're about to do here in the video. You don't even have to do it by voice. So if you're on the go all the time, you're always on the app, you're always on your phone, that's probably the easiest way of doing anything, to be honest. But um, since we're in the car, let's kind of go through what it would be. So let's assume I want to go to Celsius BMW. I need an oil change or something like that. What I'm going to do is start typing out Celsius BMW. Notice it's searching and it's gonna pull up the search results right on the side. So the first option I have there is exactly where I wanna go, self so BMW. I will touch this and then it will show me some information. At first it shows me the location of the BMW center. Next it gives me the option to start guidance. I can call the BMW center, it shows me how ma the distance uh, away I am, how many minutes it will take me to get there shows me the map of where the BMW Center is located and also always showing you the data where we're getting this from. Uh, this particular data is provided uh, from BMW directly, so that's why that's showing there. So couldn't be easier, just type in Celsius BMW and I'm good to go. You can do this for any business, uh, it's all in there. So I'm gonna go back 
let's get rid of this. And let's assume that I don't know the name of the place, but I have the address, the physical address. Well, let's just say that's just your preference. You'd rather just put the actual address in. So I'm going to start. And I just want to show you, I'm not even done typing out Hingham Street. And it has pulled up the first result right there. This is a good moment here because I want to show you exactly what it's doing. So first of all, I put the information in 1040. It accepted that. I typed in H-I-N-G. Now it's a guessing. I want to type in H-A-M. H-A-M is in orange because it's assuming that's where I want to go. And it's assuming this is the first location. Uh, this first location is the location that I want to go. So it's a, it's a little intuitive there and it's trying to make that guess. This part right here where it's breaking the word up and it's doing this, this is the thing to confuse most people. But don't get too bogged down by that because it's doing its job and it's actually doing it very well. Um, it's, it's spot on of where I want to go. All I would have to do at this point in time is touch this first result and I immediately begin navigation. What it will not do when you type in the physical address like this is it will not show you the page that I showed you previously where it shows you the address, the phone number, the distance, the time to get there, all that sort of a preview information. That's not going to happen here. When you type in the physical address and you touch one of these items here, you're immediately going to begin navigation. So just keep that in mind as well. And that's really it. So you're either going to be navigating uh, by voice by using your intelligent personal assistant. You can go into uh, the search here and type out the name of the place where you want to go, or you can type out the physical uh, location. And that's it. I mean, it, it couldn't be easier. And of course, in addition to that, you can also use the My BMW app, of course. Uh, go into the map section, uh, type out where you want to go, um, and then it will uh, send it right to the vehicle. So. Uh, this is cloud-based navigation, guys. I hope, I hope this makes sense for you, and I hope that this is something that um, more people will start to uh, use. I know that some, you know, some people are reluctant to do it. I mean, if you're familiar with the uh, your Apple Maps or uh, Waze or whatever you have going on uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Of course, you could certainly use that as well, but if you're someone who is interested in using the navigation that uh, is in the vehicle, uh, this is the easiest way of doing it. So hopefully this has uh, been helpful and, um, and you're looking forward to all the great new features uh, that's going to be coming out pretty soon in the fall uh, with iDrive 8. All right, so again, my name is Chris. Thanks again for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe so you can always stay up to date with the latest content and stay healthy and safe out there.